Hey there everybody, my name's Jerry and I've got more opinions than I know what to do with. I've been playing video games all my life, so I figured it's time I started reviewing them for you. Sound good? Great, let's boot up. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Jerry Reviews. Today I'm gonna take a look at Pokemon Sword and Shield. Growing up, I was a huge Pokemon fanatic. I even collected the trading cards for a little bit, you know, like, 150 of the original, all the evolved forms right here. I've been playing these games pretty much from the very beginning, all the way back to the original Game Boy. If any of you remember that device, I'm gonna be real impressed. But the point is, Pokemon was one of the first video games I was ever introduced to, and it was a gigantic part of my childhood. I'd played it at home, at school, on road trips, wherever I went, I was catching Pokemon. I sort of missed out on the last few entries in the series, although I did download Pokemon Go a few years back. I'm really excited to jump back into this series. Let's see how it holds up. Grookey, Scorbunny, Sobble, let's check them out. Ooh, Grookey, grass type, I see you. Okay, so Score Bunny's the fire one. And Sobble, we got a little water type over here. Oh, I'm excited, guys. First Pokemon is always such a big deal. So Grookey's like a little monkey climbing up the tree. Score Bunny's a really fast fire type. I like that, I see you. Sobble, I like it. Water type, a little bit playful, okay. Oh, but guys, Grookey's just so cute. Look at him drumming on that little fruit. Which one do you guys think I'm gonna pick? I choose Grookey, guys. Come on, look how cute he is. He's a little monkey one. I love that. Oh no, no nickname for me. I never like nicknaming my Pokemon. Grookey's already a great name. Ah, oh, high five, I love that. I can already tell Grookey and I are gonna be best friends. Guys, do you see these graphics? I came from like 2D pixelated Pokemon without even any color. This is amazing. <gasps> Whoa, you can even see the Pokemon in the grass already. Okay, I'm ready, here we go. Let's catch this guy. Ooh, okay, so this is called a Perla. Perleon? Okay, Grookey, let's go. Go, Grookey, you scratch! Okay, that did almost no damage. Let's hit him with a branch poke. That's hilarious. I was wondering what that was. He's got a stick. Branch poke. Super effective. I like that. Growl. Nobody likes growl. Come on. Pokeball. There we go. Use this item. Perloin, I catch you. You know, like I choose you, get it? <gasps> Come on, cross our fingers. We did it! We caught a Pokemon! Guys, this is so exciting. I missed playing Pokemon, and this is my second one. So exciting, I even just leveled up Grookey. This is just amazing, these graphics. This is so cool. Oh, another Pokemon. Oh, look at this guy, how cute. It's like a little squirrel. Squavit? Interesting. Let's uh, let's actually run. I'm gonna run because I kind of want to explore a little bit more. Let's go see what else is in this world. Wow, look at that lake, guys. Oh, <gasps> my first battle. Let's do this. What do you guys think? You think I can take this kid? I love the name they come up with in this game. Oh, he's got that squirrel one that I let go. Ah, my monkey can handle him. Let's go, Grookey. You know in Pokemon, when the trainers talk like this, they go, Grookey, use branch poke! Grookey, branch poke! We did it. Guys, this is bringing back some great memories. I got $360 or Pokemon money. That's awesome. Ooh, I see something that I might be able to get. Uh, I think I gotta go around this way. Oh, another Pokemon, cool. Guys, is it just me or does this look exactly like the Tootsie Pop Owl? Guys, maybe he's gonna fight me with a Tootsie Pop. Wow, toot toot, uh-oh. Grookey, no! Guys, do we think I can catch it before Grookey faints? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try to catch it, guys. Oh, no! <gasps> That's a lesson to be careful, guys, because I accidentally clicked run. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's try to go to the Pokemon Center and see if I can heal Grookey. Oh, yes, there's Nurse Joy. Hello, Nurse Joy. Yes, I would like to let my Pokemon rest. Guys, if you wanna be a great Pokemon trainer, you can't just always go fighting and battling. You gotta make sure you're being a responsible trainer. Last, Lauren, here we go. Choodle, ooh, a new one. <gasps> is that like a Squirtle combined with, oh my gosh, that thing is pretty cool. Oh, that was super effective. Here we go. Using tackle, ah, that doesn't even hurt me. Last Lauren. 
too easy. All right, last Lauren, I'm taking my 500 bucks and I'm moving on. The first thing I noticed about Pokemon Sword and Shield is how much the graphics have evolved over the years. It is insane to see how good it looks right now. Is this the best looking game ever? Nah, but is it still a lot of fun to look at? That's for sure. The Pokemon are all adorable, the environments are packed with detail, and the new arenas feel huge. The Nintendo Switch is a big step up from the 3DS, and it feels like they made the most of it. Overall, the game is super fun to play. I've played for about 20 hours, and I just don't want to stop. Now, without further ado, my final thoughts. I'm gonna give Pokemon Sword and Shield an eight out of 10. It captures the experience I had with Pokemon as a child, but it also feels fresh. It's funny, when I was younger, I would get really attached to all my Pokemon, and I find myself doing the same thing here. I tried to rescue as many Pokemon as possible so they could have a good home and a loving father. You know, that's me. Pretty soon though, I stopped caring about battles or leveling up. I just wanted to find as many as possible to take care of. Maybe I should play Pokemon Go. I mean, I could use the exercise. Anyways, the longer I played the game, the more I thought about something that really has nothing to do with Pokemon. Just like I love to care for my Pokemon, how much more do you think God loves to care for us? So much so that he wants everyone in the world to belong in his family. So in the New Testament, Jesus called his disciples to be fishers of men. Because the disciples were fishermen, so Jesus was helping them understand, you know? What that means for all of us is that God wants us to help bring people into his family. That's the purpose, belong. And when we belong to God's family, he does what a good father does for his children, he takes care of them. Jesus commands us to love and care for others in the Great Commission in the Bible where he says to baptize them. When someone gets baptized, they tell the world, I believe in Jesus too. That means we can love others the way God does, bringing them into his family. I know it's a little silly, but like I said, the way I cared about all my Pokemon is pretty much how God cares for all of us. There are so many cool, unique Pokemon out there, and I want them all to be a part of my collection. God wants to rescue us and keep us safe because he loves us, and he wants everyone to belong to his family. Wow, the phrase gotta catch them all has never been more true. But this is something that we have to choose for ourselves. We can only belong to God's family when we accept Jesus as our savior and choose to make him the Lord in our life. Just like you might belong to a sports team or a class at school, you can belong to God's family, which is made up of millions and millions of Christ followers throughout history. Wow, I hope my crazy Pokemon analogies are helpful, but if you wanna know more, don't stop with me. You can always talk to your parents or an adult you trust who loves Jesus about what this decision looks like. That's it for today's episode. I wanna keep playing Pokemon, but I can't because I'm reviewing Animal Crossing next week, so I'll see you guys then. Now, where did I put that cartridge?